if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims. You are listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is January the 17th, 2022. And today the topic is forgotten. Happy Dr. Martin Luther King Day. Excuse me. Happy Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. <laughs> to do those of you all in the U.S. that celebrate and everything like that. Um... Can't go without acknowledging that on today. I know a lot of us are off and everything like that. I mean, well, not me. I don't know. I'm, I'm hustling from home. so. <laughs> but um, most other people that work or whatnot, they are off today. Um, great day to reflect on a great man. And, um, yeah, I hope that we take the time to do so. Think about his life, his journey, his legacy, and everything like that. Um, I hope that you all had a wonderful weekend as well. Uh, mine was just fine. Uh, you know, I guess there was this whole scare of, of snow and whatnot. Um, I know on Saturday when my husband went off to work, he was like, oh, you know, uh, basically pray for me. You know, I'm going to be out here in this this snow or whatever. I'm like, what? I'm like... Because the thing is, man, in Georgia, we it's like we barely get snow or, you know, we might get some ice on the ground or something. So I'm just like, ah, you'll be all right. But at the same time, still praying, you know, that all will be well. But hey, speaking of snow, man, uh, our little man saw his, his first, I guess, snow yesterday. Um, it was funny because as soon as he saw, um, soon as he saw it, <laughs> he was like, well, let's get our coats and hats. <laughs> But we didn't go outside in it, but um, it did kind of, it stuck to the ground a little bit yesterday. I know that um, a lot of people on my timeline and on Facebook and whatnot were enjoying it with their kids. Uh, I saw a couple of snowmen and whatnot being made. So, yeah, we didn't get out there and do any of that yesterday, but um, I know my husband was saying that he was, he wanted to see NJ's first snow um so he wanted to make sure that he was back by the time, you know, um, in order to see that. And so I guess he did get a chance to see that. Um, we just opened the door and, and Jay saw the snow. I was like, let's get our coats and hats. <laughs> Look, mommy, it's snow. So, yeah, um, that was pretty much my, my weekend in a nutshell. Um, thank you to, you know, the individuals that over the weekend you all purchased your pre- order of Madame Miraculous and the Messy Laboratory. Um, you know, we did get a a few orders over the weekend, so thank and praise God for that. Uh, my pre-sale is going up until January, I mean, excuse me, it's going up until February the 11th. So yeah, if you want a signed copy of my very first children's book, then... <laughs> um, Go to actressmiraclesims.com and uh, pre-order your copy today. Um, the backstory behind that, y'all, is that obviously I'm going to have to order some author copies and get them sent to me so then I can sign them and then get them sent to you all. So it's going to be a process, but um, I mean, the pre-seller is, is letting me know how many copies I need to order um, to do that with. And so that's one thing. Um there are a couple of bundles available as well. You know, I want to do a virtual party as well as an in-person party, if the Lord's will. So, um, if you guys want to get in on any of those bundles that are available, again, actressmiraclesims.com for that information and all of that. Um, well, I guess I could tell you all another couple of blessings. Um, y'all know I have an event coming up this weekend and so that was one thing uh, I felt like I was kind of distracted as I was as I was listening to my prayer meditation this morning with the soul space app 
um because my mind kind of shifted towards that a little bit um but we can talk about that in a moment but that's that's one thing um that is coming up so thank you praise god for that opportunity looking forward to bringing uh this lady's party to life over the weekend it happens to be on the same day as my mom's birthday so um look like i'm gonna miss mom's birthday but um you know we have some contingencies in plan uh or in, in place our little man is going to be there as our representative you know what i'm saying so uh <laughs> you know we're, we're working on some ideas and whatnot for that but but yeah um so that's one thing going on this week towards the end of the week of the lord's will and then um well, I was chosen to help uh, a gentleman uh, get his book, bring his book to life. Um, so shout out to Mr. Antoine. Um, yep, he has solicited yours truly to assist him with creating his first children's book. And so again, to God be the glory for all opportunities and all the blessings. Um, all these things help. And um yeah, I appreciate that. I, and I'm glad to, to be able to be of assistance to someone, um, you know, and help them achieve their goals and dreams and whatnot as well. So super excited about the things that are in place. And and again, to God be the glory for all things. And um, yeah, so that's where I'm at with, with what's going on with me. <laughs> but uh, before I go back to my reflecting this morning about the um, prayer meditation, and my, me being a little bit distracted, uh, when I did pay attention, um, it pretty much was reminding me that, um, you know, that I'm not an orphan, right? That, um, you know, I am a child of God and everything like that. And so after the prayer meditation, um, the song God is not for God was kind of flowing through my mind. And so um, after reflecting on that for a bit, I ended up looking up verses centered around forgotten and that's what led to the topic for today so let's get into it y'all forgotten so luke 12 6 through 7 says are not five sparrows sold for two pennies and not one of them is forgotten before god why even the hairs of your head are all numbered Fear not, you are of more value than many sparrows. So, yeah, there are times in life that we can feel like we're alone, feel like God has forgotten us, has he's abandoned us, you know, we're going through different things and we're like, Lord, where are you in this? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, there are times that we feel that way. And honestly, that is the lie of the enemy because God is always there. But, um, you know, I can be honest and say that, hey, every now and then I have felt this way. And so um, for me, at least, you know, I was led to um, draw nearer to God in those seasons, to call out to God and say, hey, Lord, you know, uh, here I am and everything like that. And, um, you know, uh, Lord, I need you, everything like that. But hey, I mean, hopefully that verse that I just shared with you all is a good reminder to know that, you know, well, one, God has not forgotten you, um, that you are valuable to God. Obviously, you know, even to the point where he laid down his own life through this, his one and only son. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, you are definitely worth uh, a lot to God and he even knows the details of you to know the the number of hairs on your head and everything like that. And um, I don't know, I guess I tend to think about, you know, my hair and stuff, because every now and then, you know, I'll be fiddling with my locks or, you know, digging in my hair and whatnot, and you just might see a curl or two, you know, pop out, or, you know, if I might have a knot in it or something like that, I'll end up, like, pulling out a strand or something like that. And so, I mean, I guess... It, if you really truly think about that much, where it's like even the strands that are missing, God already knew about, you know what I mean? Like it's that deep, like God cares that deeply about us. And so, um, I mean, we, again, we may never fully understand that, but at least these um, illustrations or these ideas of ways to explain how much God cares about us and how detailed he is about each and every one of us is um 
I don't know. It's beautiful to reflect on, and I hope that it encourages you and inspires you this morning. Uh, Isaiah 49 15, it says, Can a woman forget her nursing child? That she should have no com compassion on the son of her womb. Even though these may forget, yet I will not forget you. Now, yeah, I mean, that's a that's a strong bond there, the, the mother and child bond. You know, again, by the grace of God, I've been able to experience that uh, myself. Um, you know, I mean, obviously before I became a mother, maybe I kind of had a, a limited point of view of it. But, you know, after, again, going through the process of, um, you know, the, the months of... Um, you know, my son growing in my womb and then, you know, obviously the the birthing, you know, experience and then, you know, the the time of him being a baby and, and you know, not as self sufficient as he is now, my son. Um, you know, this this verse here is saying that even if I were to forget uh, my son, um that God would not forget. So Again, that's something to to really, really, truly think about that, um, you know, again, that, that, that earthly mother to child bond, um, that basically th this is stronger than that. Um, you know, I don't know, I guess as I was writing these verses down or even now as I reflect, I, I wonder like, um, not how do we forget God or how could we, but I mean, obviously he, again, thinks so deeply of, of us that he knows the numbers of hairs on our head or that the the bond that he has to us is, is stronger than the mother uh, with a nursing child. You know, that those are deep, deep um, analogies there. Um, I mean, I don't know what you guys hear when you hear that. But, I mean, it's truly something to, to think about. I hope that you all let those things marinate on your heart, souls, and minds to know that, you know, um, not only, I guess, does God desire this type of deep relationship or for us to understand um, this is how he sees us. Um, I mean, I guess the thing is, for whatever reason, there seems to be a disconnect on our end. You know what I mean? Um this here God is showing his unconditional love, this deep love that goes beyond what we can even fathom. And and here we are constantly, um, you know, either not acknowledging or I guess maybe not even understanding the, the magnitude of it. So, again, something to let marinate on our hearts, souls, and minds this morning. I mean, obviously, we can all go deeper with this idea um by reflecting on those verses and checking out the verses that are in the go deeper section as well uh got uh, let me see i think i like one more verse i want to share with you all this morning it's philippians 1 and 6 it says and i <laughs> ah here we go and i am sure of this that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. So, yeah, God has not forgotten about you, friend. God has not forgotten. Um, you are not forgotten. You know, um, he knows you better than you know yourself, obviously. I don't know the numbers of uh, hair I have on my head, let alone the locks. I don't know how many locks I have on my head. Uh, but he knows each strand, and that is deep when you truly, truly, truly think about it. So, uh, something to think about, y'all. Something, to, you know, again, to let Marinate know our hearts, souls, and minds. And um, that's the juice. <laughs> that's the juice for today. The Bible verse for today is First Peter 5 and 10. It says, But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory, by Christ Jesus, after that, ye have fulfilled, excuse me, have, <laughs> I 
no, excuse me, he, he has suffered, excuse me, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. Um, I'm going to read it again just to make sure that you guys heard it because I know I got it jumbled up a minute ago. So again, the Bible verse of today is 1 Peter 5 and 10. It says, but the God of all grace who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus after that. Ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to Guys X and Love, your daily dose of inspiration and juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day, and I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow, if the Lord's will. Uh, I wanted to share with you all that... I was featured on a podcast not long ago. Uh, unfortunately, I did not write the title down, and my devices are both going at the same time. So I, um, and I don't want to get the title wrong. But hey, y'all, if y'all go on, follow me on Actress Miracle Sins. Look me up on Facebook or something like that because I posted recently. Um that interview and although I can't remember the name of the podcast at the moment <laughs> um nor the name of the lady uh that it, you know her podcast I don't want to misquote it so stay on the look um on the loop with me y'all um actress miracle sims on instagram uh facebook youtube all those different places uh for all things miracle right <laughs> but okay y'all I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for listening and I look forward to talking to y'all tomorrow if the Lord's will Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. It's your girl, Miracle Sims. And you already know that your girl is now an author. And my very first publication is none other than a creation inspired by the juice. That's right, friends. You can go on Amazon.com and find the juice 30-day Bible study journal. And this, friends, I hope and pray will help you create your own Bible study experience similar to the one that your girl here shares with you every day here on God's Sex and Love.